So we have now a person who is not physically present from uh, 24 Dock, and she's sitting in Moscow, and she's waiting to present her TV station. Uh, and uh, if I'm informed, she would come up here. No, that's me uh, on the on the screen. On the screen. On the screen. On the screen. I'm very. I've been talking to her on the phone. 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 What the hell are you doing with my voice? Voice. 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 Okay, Vera, where are you? Is Moscow, I calling Moscow. I am here. Vera, ты хорошо нас слышишь? Ну, вот сейчас слышу хорошо, да. Просто вы пропадаете, а так ничего. Тогда я думаю, что ты можешь просто начинать говорить на тему твоего выступления. Тебя слышит аудитория примерно в 60-70 человек. Пожалуйста. Отлично, здравствуйте. Еще Hello, раз. everybody. I present the 24 Doc. That is a documentary creative film channel. It started in December 2011, so we will soon uh, celebrate our two years anniversary. When we started, we tried to have a documentary channel of Russia. We caught the trend, we caught the wave of what's happening in the documentary film industry in the world because a lot of people in the audience were interested in documentary films. Documentary film industry is growing. A lot of documentary films are released, and I hope they are bringing quite a lot of money. So things were running good. And we are perhaps the only documentary channel in Russia, more than Russia, in the former Soviet republics as well. So it's quite a vast area that we are covering. So we're the channel representing the creative documentary films. And we're, we're very proud to work together with the documentary film makers and with distributors. But unfortunately, just like the life of all the documentary makers, not only in Russia, but, all, but not all, yes, but also in the other countries, it's not very easy. Of course, more people are watching documentaries, and we have one of the one of the um, one of a million people watch, watching our channel. And I must say that our channel is a paid channel. I'm just asking if anybody can hear me. Yes, of course. Now, if you look at the panels at these screens, you can see our colleague. Okay. So I was talking that about two years ago we started our channel. So we caught the trend of the documentary films. Docu the documentaries are gaining popularity. And unfortunately for us, as a television channel, I mean, that is, first of all, business, and that's very um, not an easy business. When we were writing a business plan to launch the channel, we were looking for finances, and it's not government financing. It's a private company that's financing us. So we were making plans on setting the goal, on achieving the goal. I must say that today we are not um, in tempo, we're a bit backwards. But the, but the audience that is interested in the documentary films is not numerous. So we cannot say that our business is growing. And we're a bit sad about that, that we don't have 
um, numerous audience. A couple years more, and we will have to make a decision whether the stakeholders do need the channel that is not bringing them any money. So the situation is like this. The number of viewers that are watching documentary films more than for, for more than 45 minutes per day. Of course, our audience grew up, the, so it's twice as much people as before, but it is still not enough. People who watch the documentary say 10 minutes per day. They also grew in number, but it's still not enough. It's still not enough people for the television channel. What are the reasons for that? There is a special system, TV Index Plus, that measures the activity and effectiveness of the TV channels. We have a, we have a site that shows about like 75% of what we have and what we show on our channel. Now, our site was renewed, so, I mean, there there are different numbers, different information on it. I must say that, in general, the documentary community became stronger, but it's still not enough audience that are watching the documentary films. The lack of sufficient audience is the reason why we're the only channel, why we're not doing so great, why we're still a bit backwards. I'm talking about creative documentary films right now. Can I, Vera, can I interrupt you? Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Okay, uh, this is two uh, talking. We were talking the other day, and you were much more optimistic the other day. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you also had a vision for the future. About, uh, how to, how, no. No. I'm not saying that everything is black, everything is bad. I'm speaking in general, overall, that we do have problems. And I was speaking about that a week ago, that we are behind what we would like to be. So again, I'm saying that, unfortunately, even though the documentary community is growing, but the audience, the interest of the audience is not growing as we would like to have it, as we plan it would be growing. So I'm, and nothing changed during that week after we've spoken. So. Can I ask you just to give a little more factual information, like you are having Russian documentaries, you also... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. 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 The, the nucleus of the people who watch uh, the documentaries for an hour, say, is 10%. So only 10% of our audience watches documentary film for an hour per day. This is not much. So, of course, we cannot change, change the percentage within the two years. And we had only two years of activity. But, <laughs> but my forecast was much more optimistic than this 10%. I was hoping at least it would be 15%, but no. How many foreign documentaries are you showing on Doc24? Seventy to seventy-five percent of international documentary films, and it is not a fixed. It is not a fixed number, but so like twenty-five, thirty-five percent. The Russian documentary films, and it's what's important is that not enough money is being invested in the documentaries in Russia. So, and we need investment. We need co so we need commercial movies as well as the television channel. We don't want to limit ourselves only to commercial films, of course. But, but we need to develop the taste to the documentary films in the audience. So we can show commercial, but it shouldn't be only commercial. 
So we show various films on our channel, but we really try to turn to commercial part of movies, and we try to to have it stronger. Not because we don't like documentary films, but just because we need the audience. We need we need to grow. Yeah. And the Russian documentary community is risking to lose us as a channel, as a platform. That's what I'm talking about right now. But we participate actively in the documentary life as well. We're showing the films on our ch documentary films on our channel. We deal with the festivals in Russia, with quite a number of festivals in Russia. So we we try to cooperate with the festivals. We help to release uh, the documentary film Yekaterina Yeremenka, The Mathematics of Feelings. So we try ourselves everywhere in different spheres, and we really try to promote the documentary films. We participate in creating the first documentary film, the film that can show up in the international arena. And we also needed to state, we needed to let the people know that we have the channel 24 Dog. We can help in making movies, we can make movies, and movies that will be not only in Russia but also shown internationally. We're planning to make two to three films per year. We can help organize, we can help uh, looking for money. Well, we don't have, we, don't, we cannot provide a lot of money at the moment just because we're just very new channel, very young channel, so we don't have a lot of uh, financial possibilities, but I think it is very normal for the young channel. So you you would like to see your channel as a producer in the future, to take the role of a producer and be the link between Russia and Western Europe, for instance. Is that how you see it? That's one question. The other question is, as this is the theme of, of the conference, do you have any idea? Do you, hey, 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 hey. Do you have any ideas about new? Yes, we are the platform that shows to the big audience. We're showing to a lot of viewers. But we still need to augment the, number, the audience like three times. That's what I can say today. Three times more we need. But we are a very important platform. We're a very imp important platform that works with the audience and that shows Russian documentaries and international documentaries. So Western, Eastern documentaries. New media, cross media, question mark. Any paid television, any commercial television is already new media. At least in Russia, this is new media. Secondly, we have a portal that's called 24 Doc, which has been renewed. And every week on that portal, we have up to 30 new films. And then during one week, you can watch those films. There are also films that are constantly in our portal. Our television channel has about 600,000 films per year. I think the number has grown already this year. I'm not sure. And then I think very soon we'll have 700 films per year. But unfortunately, even though we have so many films, people are not watching all those films. We will develop our site. So both on our site and on our channel, you can watch the film. And you can watch the licensed film free of charge on our site. That's, that's about the new media. That's internet. 
channel. And that's paid channel, television channel. Also, also we're part of the Rostelecom, which is a huge network. Rostelecom is the widest IPT systems in the country that is working very efficiently. And in the nearest future, we're planning to use their television system um, to use our brand 24 Doc and um, put our films on Astros Telecom TV portal. We understand that they have their own requirements and we understand they also have their own audience. Bira, can I say something as a person who is twice as old as you. Patience, patience. I mean, you have enormous a lot of ideas, activities, etc., but you are disappointed that it doesn't, you know, manifest itself now. I mean, you've only been there two years. Maybe you need more years to, you know, develop a, 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 a television station like that. Or what? She didn't hear me. Did you hear what I was saying? I heard something and then I had silence. You know, I heard that you're twice as old as I am, but that's all. Okay, I'm just saying, patience. Take it easy. I mean, you are developing something which is very important, and it has. It takes time. But it seems like, at least for me, you have all the right elements. Or what? <laughs> oh, no, no. I see some of the results right now already. I understand that I have some results later, but even right now, the, the fact that a lot of people are watching the documentaries on our channel, that's already a great result already now. So it's a great channel that already has its own results. Unfortunately, though, this is the result that people just sit and watch the television, watch documentaries. So I'm not sure the audience is completely ready to take documentary films, creative documentary films, seriously. So they're watching, of course. So they're watching roughly 10 minutes per day, and that's talking about the white audience. So, of course, we have a nucleus, the audience that's always watching us, that, that the real audience, the real viewers, the, real, uh, the, the core audience that is watching the documentaries. So they're watching every day, say, one film. And I think that's our achievement for our television channel to have such a great core audience. And that, that's the number for two, 2012. So I am sure that's an achievement. But that is an achievement. I was counting on faster results, of course. So, you know, I was expecting very aggressively. Right, so we achieved something, but, you know, it's not, we didn't achieve our forecasts in full. But nevertheless, it's an achievement. And of course, what's important for development of the documentary? film industry for documentary film business because if it brings money if it covers the expenses if it covers the expenses people will continue investing in documentary and so our audience the viewers of our television channel will invest in documentary I think that is the most important thing and again I would underline that it is very important that the Russian documentary film industry develops. There are a lot of beautiful documentaries that are made abroad in Europe and America and Asia, but it's also very important not to forget to create the Russian documentary school, the Russian documentary filmmaking, and also to make the joint projects between the Russia and foreign countries. Absolutely. Can I and such joint um, projects will have a resonance, will have a, 
a reaction both in Russia and abroad. But unfortunately, what we see every day, you know, we're television people, so we could understand how much the television program would cost the real money. Very often, we have documentary people coming to us, and they're thinking, they're thinking that they can make a lot of money by working with us. Time, time is up. We have to say thank you very much. Please be patient.